If any case warrants a death sentence, then this is the one. That's the ruling from the Supreme Court judge as he rejected the appeal of four convicted rapists. I'm very happy that the Supreme Court heard us and understood the pain of our victim and gave justice to the entire country. There was applause in the court, but others say this isn't justice. All our arguments were set aside, including chief examination, cross-examination, defence evidence and the mitigating circumstances. Jyoti Singh was a 23-year-old medical student who was tricked onto a bus and violently raped in December 2012. She was transferred to hospital in Singapore but died of her injuries two weeks later. Four men were found guilty of the crimes in 2013. A fifth man committed suicide in prison and a sixth, a teenager, has been released after three years in detention. The brutality of the attack and anger at the scale of abuse of women in India led to mass protests. The government created tougher laws for rapists and introduced the death penalty for repeat offenders. But women's rights groups say there's still an epidemic of abuse. A woman is raped on average every 20 minutes. This verdict is one amongst 100,000 pending rape cases in this country. In fact, we work very closely with rape survivors and with lawyers. The rape conviction rate in India have decreased from 35% to 25% last year. So this is a situation that we are in. The conviction or even the hanging verdict, as everyone has been talking about today, is not going to deter rape in our country. The death sentence is a controversial subject in India. Some favour it, while others are against it. The victim in this case woke up only once before she died and identified her attackers. Her family and friends say she said she wanted to see them burned to death. The attackers' lawyers will file a review petition. After that, the president is the only one who can pardon them. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.